Hi, my name's Nicholas Brereton and I work in the Department of Life Sciences at Imperial College London. Um, I'm right now in the Grodome facility in the very, very centre of London, in South Kensington uh, campus. Um, I'm on the roof of the Aeronautics building um, and this facility allows us to do some more of the, um, the complex uh, plant sciences um, at, right in, at Imperial College. Behind me uh, you can see some um, experiments for biofuels and second generation biofuels specifically. So the trees behind me, and the, um, the very young trees, but the short rotation crop is willow. Um, and willow is one of the leading biofuels in the country right now. Some of the trees are uh, grown completely upright and some of the trees are grown at a 45 degree angle. Um, and that's what the, um, the, the experiments, that's the question the experiment um, is asking, is what sort of difference um, does that tilting have on how the trees develop um, and then the impact of that development on biofuels. One of the biggest findings we've had over the last few years was that um, mature willow that we saw, we can see in the field um, and when, we, when we go out around England and look at uh, different types of willow, is that they, they vastly vary in how good a biofuel they are. Um, and the reasons behind that we, we couldn't quite um, prize out is after a few years we, we did notice that you see a, um, a, if you look under the microscope of these different types of willow, um, that you see a special cell wall layer um, and that this uh, was, it was highly rich in, in plant sugars, the type of sugars that, that make a tree a good or a bad biofuel. Um, and this pointed us in the right sort of direction to think it might be the plant's response to, to gravity, how plants see gravity. Um, and to then test that as a hypothesis, we then came to the grow dome um, and tilted trees in a very controlled manner, consistent manner, um, to see how that, the way they perceive gravity might impact how they perform as a biofuel. Um, and luckily it seems that uh, the, their response to gravity, their, uh, their ability to, to, to see that um, stimulus, uh, it was directly correlated to how well they performed as a biofuel. Uh, one of the benefits of this trait uh, is that it's natural. Um, it's a completely natural trait, so <clears throat> it doesn't damage the tree at all in any way, um, but that out in the field you see this trait uh, in action. Um, so one of the things that we did to take this experiment further out to the field, which obviously we're not going to be tipping trees over in the field, um, is we went to the Orkney Islands. Uh, in Scotland where the environment's very, very windy and so these trees are blown around so they're tipped at really quite severe angles um, and the, the, the varieties of willow we tested there are the same varieties um, that we grow in the, in the lab here in the grow dome and also in more sheltered conditions around the country and they're mature willow um, and there were the, the ones we tested at Orkney and these really extreme wind conditions were five times better at releasing their sugar, so five times better at biofuel. Um, so as well as with the, because it's a natural trait, as well as with the normal breeding programs, we should try to take this trait further. Um, uh, more marginal land environments like that um, should be a real benefit. Recognising that um, this is an important trait is only half the, the battle and try to understand it. So what we're currently doing, or um, what we're doing next, is to, to harvest trees and experiments like this back at Imperial um, and uh, harvest and look at the RNA. Um, so we flash freeze a lot of material there um, and look at the RNA specifically to try to tease apart the different genetics um, underpinning the, the variation in this trait.